Here we go again, it's a, another video in the Learn Google Earth Studio 1004 Sharing Earth Studio Files. Now, big deal on this one, and I put on the bottom of the slide, look, this is fast and easy. And what it's all about is sharing files, and if you have a look, you are using Google Earth Studio on a laptop, maybe a desktop, inside Chrome, you can save files, export them to Google Drive, and you may receive them or export them or send them through, say, email as an attachment. This is fast and easy. And one of the benefits, and this is a very quick video, is to say that if you look at the official Google Earth Studio help, it says exporting projects locally. I will get that on the next video. The important part here is a quick demo. So let's say you are and I appreciate I'm moving quickly now, is I'm in uh, Google Earth Studio. I've got a new project here in Wales, and I'm going round over uh, Hlyn Ogwen. I probably said that super wrong. And I go through there, and I'm thinking, well, it's all right, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing. And if I look down here at, say, some altitude or some um, pan and tilt, especially the tilt here, look, it's got like a bit of a flat thing. I don't really know what it is. So what I'm going to do is I want to export this file and share it to someone else really, really easily. Save it in Drive by a link, um, email it with a link, put it in the forum, whatever. File, export, Earth Studio Project. All you do is click that once and you can see untitled.esp, change the name and I'm going to be um, putting in just uh, Wales, um, Wales Pass and then just leave it at that and I will hit, I'm not going to hit export right now because I might get other things pop up, um, but the point of it is it's there and it's easy. If someone sends a file to you, you go file, import this time and you can see it as Earth Studio Project. Final note here, .esp is an Earth Studio Project. ESB is a bundle. And I'm just going to go back to that other side really quickly and finish this video. A bundle means that it's got extra things inside of it, a bit like KMLs or other files attached inside of it. So look, that is it, 1004. I'm trying to keep this really, really quick. And this is two and a half minutes, so I better finish really quick. Goodbye.